This is our second routine. So we're going to start this routine in a position we call our puppy dog pose. This is going to target the upper body, the shoulders, the middle back, and the torso. Sometimes people will also even feel this in their abdominals a little bit, through the armpits and through the lats. And so just to be aware, even though sometimes I'll say the target will be your shoulders, you still might feel this in other areas, and that's, that's fine. Those are secondary beneficial areas that we're trying to target. All right, so I have Stephanie and Chris again helping me as they are here for the entire pathway and working together with Rama to create this path for you. So we are now in, again, second routine, starting with our puppy dog, our upper body target. This will be a three-minute pose. So I want you to really embrace the principles of staying as relaxed in your mind initially as much as you can stay relaxed in your mind. Secondarily, your, your body will follow that mental relaxation, right? So I'm really ultimately looking to relax my body as much as I can. I'm trying to passively stretch into my body. And by passively stretching for two minutes and three minutes, sometimes four minutes and even five minutes, we are actually targeting the connective tissue in the body. This is a really important thing that we're doing when we're doing these routines. In fact, when we're targeting these long two, three minute passive positions, we're ultimately also targeting the joint capsules. This is one of the only ways that we can actually stress the joint capsules. So I'm talking about the connective tissue around the joint. And this is the only way to ultimately strengthen the joint capsules within your body, unless you have someone actually literally physically do it for you, the only other way is by holding these passive positions. So without these passive positions, there's a big miss within the training of your body because you're not targeting the joint capsules and the connective tissue. So I want you to think beyond your muscles even. I want you to try to put your mind and start to see the benefit with even in the bones and in the joints of your body and just the importance of these long held positions. And I know they're not easy to do. I know we're asking you to put your body into positions and shapes that's confronting to you, but it's so important to do. You've taken the time out to do it, and now you're doing it, and you're benefiting from it. So try to stay relaxed within it, though. Remember, the passive approach is important. We are now down to just one more minute. Again, this is our upper body target. You might feel this in your abs. You might feel this in your shoulders. You might feel this in your lats or in your, your you know, triceps or wherever you might feel it. We're all a little different but ultimately, shoulders, upper body, torso. I'm also gonna start focusing on my breathing now. I haven't mentioned it yet for this routine, I like to always mention it at some point, but I'm breathing deeply while I'm in the poses. Ultimately, this is just facilitating me staying more relaxed while I'm in the positions. So we wanna make the breath a priority, we wanna make it deep. If you're able to only nostril breathe, I would say go ahead and do that. But not everybody will be able to only breathe through the nose. So if you can't, that's okay too. A few more moments. I'm relaxing. I'm focusing. I'm breathing. I'm doing it perfectly. Good, everybody. Just a few more. And the time is now up for this position. So we're going to lie flat from this position. So just lying down on my belly for a second. I'm taking a moment or two to get there. Just like I mentioned in day one, if you need to take an extra amount of time to get from pose to pose, we encourage... ...you to push pause and that way you can use as much time as you need. If you like to just, what they're actually right out now is the rebound, a miniature rebound. You can take those rebounds even on your own if you want to push pause. You're like, I need a few moments just to relax and enjoy, that's fine. But our next pose now is going to be called the Sphinx position. And so from the Sphinx, we're coming up on our forms and we're trying to now target the stomach a little bit further. And we're also trying to put a little bit of compression on the spine in a good way. So this is our abdominal position, as well as the L5 within the spine. So here we are in the Sphinx position, which will be a three minute position. Now it can be tiring to be on the forearms for three minutes for some of us. 
If you need to come out after a minute or two minutes, you can come out early, it's fine. And then after a few moments when you feel like you're good again, then you come back into the pose. So you can choose to skip part of the time or you could choose to push pause, come out, and then come back in and restart the time. These are two options that are similar, although they're very different. They're both fine, so be aware of that. Again, sphinx position, you two. The compression is important on the spine, and so for a lot, we're used to rounding. Especially for you out there, you're used to having the curve in your spine from sitting. So this is highly, highly important to have this back bending in your spine and as we put the good compression in the L5 and here we are one minute in and we have two more minutes to go so just like I mentioned bring your awareness to your breath focus on the depth focus on the fluidity of it and maybe through the nose if you can try to relax in your mind try to go into this experience and feel all there is to feel all the sensations, all the breathing, all of it, try to tune into that. We are beyond our halfway point, so we're about a minute and 15 for this pose to go. Good. Everything is relaxing. The face and the jaw and the eyes. If you like to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. If you want to leave them open, you can leave them open. And we are now one last minute so again it's a long time to be in the pose if it's too long a reminder you can always come out early that's not a sense of defeat that's actually just the flexibility to respect your boundaries so again we look at this always as a positive thing but you know what in three months you're holding it for the full time or maybe it takes you six months patience everybody patience this isn't supposed to happen with just in a, a couple days. This ultimately is a lifelong process. So our last few minutes for the pose, I'm keeping my focus on my breath and I'm staying relaxed in my mind. Good, so how about this? One more big inhale, just fill them up so deep you can't get any more air in. And actually on the exhale, just lie back down, just very slowly, just come out of the pose. So this position, the Sphinx is done. And I'm again choosing to put them in a very short rebound so they can just enjoy just for a second. I'm out of that last pose and I don't have to run and rush into the, the next pose or hurry to the next pose. And so just, I'm, I'm really utilizing a little bit of time. And this is important. This is an important aspect. Now our next position is going to be the thread the needle or it's going to be the twisted cross. And so thread the needle or twist across. Now I'm giving you two options. And the reason being is for the twist across, not everyone will be able to do the twist across. But Chris is gonna demonstrate the twist across and he's doing it on his right arm. And then Stephanie is going to be doing the thread the needle. So she's going to be taking her arm underneath her body. And so twist across or thread the needle. Now Stephanie again is showing the left arm underneath just so you're aware of that. And Chris is doing the right arm twist across and this is fine. So you don't have to be obsessed if you're doing, you know, always the right side first or always the left. Even though I'll say right side sometimes or left sometimes, we're gonna do both. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So this twist across or thread the needle is another three minute position. And just like the puppy dog and the Sphinx, it can be challenging to be in this kind of a position for that length of time. And I wanna keep reiterating that because I don't want you to feel pressure. I don't want you to be frustrated Okay, if, again, if you got to manipulate or pause or any of that stuff, just another reminder that that is encouraged and fun. But here we are in the pose. We're breathing deeply through the nose. We're staying relaxed in the mind. And really embracing that the truest flexibility I'm creating is the flexibility to work with my body and my uniqueness. That's the flexibility in this program. Other than that, the benefit, we're targeting the connective tissue, the fascia, the muscles, the bones. These are all important targets. And we're doing it through the passive approach. All right, everybody, we are looking to be around the halfway point. Again, don't compare. 
This isn't a, a place where we're competing. We're not trying to achieve aesthetic looks in these positions. We're flourishing in the uniqueness. This isn't about changing you. And maybe that's the best way to describe it. It's actually more about taking care of you. And in that theory, in that approach, I don't have to be something I'm not or live up to an image. This is just taking care of me where I'm at. And yeah, I'll go deeper aesthetically in time. Yes, I'll even become stronger through this program in time. But that's not always this focus or this priority. The priority here is just the wellness of it, the recovery. I'm optimizing my body and the training by doing this positions and these stretches the way I'm doing them. So here we are for our last 30 seconds now. Are we still breathing deep? Kind of here in a way to be a reminder. I'll probably mention, are we still breathing deep? And you're probably gonna be there be like, I'm not. That's okay, I just reminded you. Now come back to it, keep coming back to it. All right, you two, let's go ahead and slowly come back just to lying down as we'll enjoy again a mini rebound. I'm just lying on the floor. And this again is an important little moment. We don't always put the rebounds in between the positions, but when we have the time, we want to really facilitate that and put them in because they're nice. It's nice to really be slow with this process. But now let's go ahead and change the other side. So let's go ahead and switch this one up. So remember, twist across or thread the needle. Okay, so you are switching the arm that you are deciding to switch into. Or you're doing your other arm. So the three minute position, everybody. So nice to take the time out of your day to clear out your schedule and to dedicate this block of time, again, just for yourself. And truly, even though that sounds maybe a little selfish, the truth is, you know, I'm not really good to anybody if I don't really take care of myself. You know, I'm not really good to anybody if I don't really feel good. So it's not so selfish. You know, my training, you know, me doing my raw mod routines and, and me going through the things that I need to go through is really for everybody that truly is in my life. And remember that because it's important. So here we are again, targeting the upper body, targeting the shoulders, the deltoids, the pectorals, a little bit of the twist in the spine, all these benefits and all these target areas that are literally needing the attention that we're giving them. And just so you know, we're now at the halfway point for the pose. And just so you also know, already, this is the last pose of this routine. So these routines, they really do fly by. I have no time to waste. As I move into this program and this routine, I have focus, I have my intentions, I have no time to waste. You have one last minute. Maybe you can breathe a little deeper, you two. And maybe you can soften something else there, even if it's my new. looking at 30 seconds. It's kind of nice, and I don't know if you can hear it, probably not, but I can actually hear their breathing while they're doing this routine. I can hear the depth that they're putting into it. And sometimes it can be nice, even when you're at home, to put a little sound in the breath, as it's just one more way of really pulling my attention inward. It's given me the sound 
that also resonates with my calmness. And now we're going to come out of pose again, and we're actually going to move into our final rebound. So this is a little different than the other rebounds that we were doing. The final rebound is that rebound that's on your time, where I say officially that's it, but now it's back on your time. And if you have the time and you want to take five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I've even heard stories of people falling asleep in the rebound, which is fantastic. That's fine. That's on your time. Officially, we are done, everybody. So thank you for joining us. We hope this leaves you feeling amazing, most of all. And we'll see you tomorrow, everyone, because consistency Round one. is definitely part of the key. Consistency is part of the key.